नमस्कार इंडिया मेटोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम यू इन डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग सो द कंटिन्यूअस ईस्टरली सर्ज ओवर द तमिलनाडु एंड केरला हैज कॉज्ड आइसोलेटेड हैवी टू वेरी हैवी रेनफॉल ओवर तमिलनाडु एंड आइसोलेटेड हैवी रेनफॉल ओवर केरला ड्यूरिंग पास ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स एंडिंग एट एट थर्टी आवर्स एस टी ऑफ टूडे अलॉन्ग विद फेयरली वाइड स्प्रेड लाइट टू मॉडरेट रेनफॉल ओवर द बोथ स्टेट्स so if we talk about the highlights of uh, uh, during uh, during next 5 days so this heavy rainfall spell isolated heavy rainfall spell over uh, tamil nadu and kerala and adjoining parts of uh, south india karnataka is likely to continue during next 2 uh, to 3 days and uh, uh, thereafter a wet spell is uh, likely over over maharashtra Uh, especially north maharashtra south gujarat southwest mp uh, during 24 to 27th of uh, uh, november with maximum rainfall activity on 26th of november and uh, the third highlight of uh, today's delhi weather briefing is that a low pressure area under the influence of a cyclonic circulation uh, which is likely to emerge over uh, south andaman sea by 20 uh, 25th of uh, november and this cyclonic circulation would give uh, rise to a low pressure area on 26th of november over south uh, and adjoining north andaman sea uh, by 26th of november and thereafter this low pressure area is likely to move west north westwards and is uh, likely to uh, concentrate into a depression uh, over southeast bay of bengal and adjoining parts of andaman sea by 27th of november so we will look into these three highlights in detail so first of all uh, if we look into the uh, today's synoptic situation so a western disturbance is uh, roughly along 55 degree of longitude to the north of 30 degree latitude and a uh, a cyclonic circulation is over uh, uh, over uh, north interior tamil nadu and adjoining parts of uh, adjoining parts of kerala and is extending up to uh, lower tropospheric levels so under the influence of this uh, today uh, the uh, uh, there is a likely uh, likelihood of continuation of isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall over interior parts of tamil nadu especially ghat areas and over uh, kerala during next 24 hours and after that uh, isolated heavy rainfall would continue tomorrow as well over over uh, tamil nadu kerala and adjoining parts of south india karnataka and also it is likely to continue on uh, third day that is the 24th of november although with the lesser probability so <clears throat> after this as we have uh, seen in the in the highlights that a western disturbance is likely to affect uh, northwest india and 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 west india and this this western disturbance is likely to interact with the lower level easterlies and is likely to give uh, give rise to a very active rainfall spell over maharashtra uh, over gujarat and over over western parts of madhya pradesh especially southwest uh, madhya pradesh and under the influence of this although the rain fall activity isolated rainfall activity may begin even from tomorrow but uh, it will it will uh, uh, the significant rainfall activity would uh, uh, begin from 24th of november and it will continue till 27th of november so here we can see the thunderstorm probability would be there over uh, over uh, madhya maharashtra uh, konkan and marathwada on 24th of uh, november and thereafter it would extend up to gujarat on 20 25th of november when there would be a thunderstorm probability uh, and and also on 26th of november when the thunderstorm uh, probability would uh, uh, extend up to uh, uh, south rajasthan as well as uh, southwest madhya pradesh but if we talk about the maximum uh, activity uh, activity day of this event then that day would be the the 26th of november when there would be probability of even a uh, moderate to heavy rainfall activity over over north konkan north madhya maharashtra uh, south gujarat and uh, and south west mp so this would be the most crucial day that uh, that is the day of 26th of november and uh, on this day even the uh, uh, the possibility of uh, isolated hail storm activity may not be denied so we request uh, the all the viewers uh, uh, that that please go into the imd mumbai and imd nagpur websites and uh, and and look into the district uh, level forecast for this uh, uh, rainfall spell during the period of 24th to 
27th of November over Maharashtra, Gujarat and over uh, South West MP and for, uh, for the viewers of Gujarat, uh, 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 it is requested that they visit the uh, uh, IMD Ahmedabad website. So uh, uh, that was about this uh, uh, West India spill and uh, regarding the other information of the low pressure area as we just uh, 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 saw in the highlights that a, a low pressure area is uh, likely to form uh, by, by 26th of November over south and adjoining North Andaman Sea under the influence of a cyclonic circulation which is likely to emerge over uh, over over the uh, southeast andaman sea uh, and, uh, and and under the influence of this cyclonic circulation only this low pressure area would uh, be uh, uh, would be uh, uh, would emerge over the south and adjoining north andaman sea and thereafter this low pressure area is likely to move west northwestwards and concentrate into a depression over southeast bay of bengal and adjoining parts of andaman sea by 27th of november so that's all for today tomorrow we will again meet with delhi weather briefing for weather warning during next 5 days Thank you and goodbye.